Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today we're going to be reviewing the disposable Elegoo resin vats. Yes, the Elegoo resin vats that you've been hearing about that are compatible with the Unicubic Photon, the Elegoo Mars, the Epax X1, and many other resin printers that use this type of vat. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey guys, I'm real excited to show you what I received in the mail today, which was the disposable Elegoo resin vats. There's supposed to be four in here, but there's only three. It's because I used one in my Elegoo Mars, and it prints fantastically. So each resin vat comes packed in a cardboard box. Actually, four of these come packed in a cardboard box. What's really cool about this is that each one has a removable lid. Check this out. Any cubic photon? Nice. Really tight. It fits the any cubic photon vat. It also fits the Elegoo Mars vat. So, they're reusable. And they're actually, this one is actually really, actually fits on there really nice. So, I mean, it's, it's a, it's pretty hard plastic. It's not flimsy. So, yeah. And there's a nice little attention on there. Do not touch the FEP release film on either side. Carry tank by holding the only the sides. Do not gouge the FEP release film with sharp tools like scrapers or tweezers. So there's a nice little disclaimer, little warning right on the box or right on the lid. So yes, here we go. This is the disposable let me get a close up here. Focus, focus, focus. You can see there's like little ridges. Little ridges all within there. And when I first looked at these, I thought, what the heck? This is not real. This is not real. Um, a lot of bubbles in there. And I thought, what the heck's going on? But yes, there is a little piece of relief film. So there's a little piece of film on there. So when you get these, make sure to take the film off. Otherwise, you have very poor print, so listen. Sounds like a drum. We'll get our handy dandy spectrum analyzer to tell you what the kilohertz rating is on these vets. So, I'm gonna try to do this. See if I can do this from here. So, I'm getting, uh, about 297 hertz, which is actually pretty good. It almost appears like this FEP or the ring that's surrounding this FEP is fused. So as far as being able to change it, I've kind of tried to gingerly push this out, but I'm having issues trying to get it out of there. So yeah, it hasn't changed. And I've taken all 24 of these little screws out. So guys are curious about the size these guys are 11.7 or I would say around 12 because I think this caliper that I have is not super duper accurate and the width is three millimeters so three millimeters wide by 12 millimeters long so I went ahead and measured the volume of these guys so it looks like these vats cold 350 milliliters of liquid. Now that's if you fill this guy all the way up to the top, which you are not, because you will make a big mess. But the volume of these vats all the way to the top is 350 mils. One of the Elegoo Mars disposable vats is 450 mils. And I, again, I filled this up, and this is not the one. <clears throat> The volume of the Elegoo Mars vat is 450 mils. Something interesting, some interesting, something interesting about the volume of the Elegoo Mars disposable vat is 450 mils. Again, 100 mils more volume 
than this guy. Again, you're not going to fill it up all the way up to the top, but theoretically you will be able to get more resin in this, especially for your longer prints versus using one of these. And the one that I tested for liquid was the one that I took all the screws out. The screws are still gone out of here. When I put the water in, it didn't leak. Uh, yeah, this ring around here, I assume is fused somehow or the FEP is fused to a uh, this uh, plastic ring in here and these screws are just to make it more tight, I guess. But yeah, this I put liquid in this, no leakage and no screws. So as far as the size, again, this is exactly the same as the Anycubic Photon, as the Elegant Mars, that, all exactly the same. Uh, the only thing I can really tell is on the plastic vat, the edges are, the corners are just a little bit sharper. But as far as fitting in the machines, they fit in the machines perfectly. And again, it's, it's really solid plastic. I mean, as far as twisting, it's very difficult to, to twist. So they're, they're very solid and very sturdy. So again, you're going to have a nice FEP, a nice tight FEP to print on. And these things only weigh 176 grams. So if you guys are FDM printers out there and you go through a lot of filament, these excess reels here, you could probably get, it'd probably take three of these to match just one of these. So as far as plastic, you're concerned about plastic, there's next to nothing in these vats. So I'm gonna ask Elegoo if this plastic is recyclable. So all you'd have to do is cut the FEP out you know, put it out in the sun, see if there's any uncured resin in there, stick it in your recyclables. With that being said, for 30 bucks when they come out at the end of September on Amazon, you get four of these plastic disposable vats that are compatible with the Elegoo Mars, the Anycubic Photon, the EPAC, EPAX X1, I don't know about the longer brand as far as the vats are concerned. I think Elegoo did mention that this does work with the longer tin, but don't quote me on that. Again, you get four of these plus four of the plastic lids. And again, these lids work great, as we showed at the beginning of the video, on some of the standard vats that you guys are used to using. So yeah, you can put them together, stack them up, use different resins, different colors. Pretty cool. Okay, now I know there's an 800 pound gorilla in the room somewhere, and that is, are you going to use the disposable resin vats? I'd like to know. Please put your comments below this video to let me know, are you going to use the disposable resin vats? I think they have merit. I really do. I think they're well made. I think you can add, you know, you can, they hold more resin. The, the caps that come with them, these are reusable, so you don't have to throw these away. You know, there's not much plastic in these, not much more than what you'd find on a regular FDM printer reel. So, yeah, I think it's kind of cool for 30 bucks and you get four of them. So if you're testing different resins or you're testing different colors, I think this is a nice option. Hey guys, once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I did. If you have some questions or comments about these vats, uh, you know, place them in the comments below if, you, if you're going to use them. If you're not going to use them, place your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, we'll see you next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the No Leader from Cast and Play. Remember our last video? I'm giving away the No Leader. So I randomly selected a subscriber, and the winner is Nosferatu Clown. Nosferatu Clown, if you're out there, please send me a message. My contact information is in the details below. Send me a message, and I'll send out the No Leader. Signed, sealed, and delivered. So you can paint it. Show all your friends. Hey, and when you get through painting it, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Hey, do you know what a... <laughs> hey guys, thanks for joining us again on 3D Print Farm. Do you know what a duck's favorite snack is? Quackers! <laughs> Get it? Quackers? <laughs>